Let's start with a big question. How do simple tools like levers, pulleys, and ramps help us do tough jobs? The secret lies in something called mechanical advantage, a way of making work easier by using less force. But to understand how this works, we need to talk about input force and output force and how simple machines turn one into the other. When you push, pull, or lift something, you're applying an input force. That's the force you put into a system. The system then amplifies or redirects that force to create an output force, the force that actually moves or lifts the object. Simple machines are designed to increase the output force or make it easier to apply force, even if it means increasing the distance you have to move something. This trade-off between force and distance is how machines create a mechanical advantage. Take a lever, for example. Imagine you're trying to lift a heavy rock with just your hands. It's impossible. But if you use a long stick, the lever, and a rock as a pivot point, the fulcrum, you can lift the same rock with much less effort. By applying a small input force at one end of the lever, the lever amplifies that force to create a larger output force at the other end, lifting the rock. The longer the lever arm, the greater the mechanical advantage. Now think about a pulley system. If you've ever raised a flag on a flagpole, you've used a pulley. When you pull the rope, your input force is redirected by the pulley to lift the flag. Add more pulleys to the system, and you reduce the input force needed to lift the same weight. Each added pulley increases the mechanical advantage, meaning you're doing the same amount of work, but with less effort. Another great example is an inclined plane, basically a ramp. Lifting a heavy box straight up takes a lot of force, but sliding it up a ramp requires much less input force because the ramp spreads the work over a longer distance. The mechanical advantage of the ramp allows you to move the same weight with less effort. The mechanical advantage of a system can be calculated using the formula mechanical advantage equals output force divided by input force. For example, if you're using a lever and the output force is 100 newtons, while your input force is 20 newtons, the mechanical advantage is 5. This means the lever multiplies your effort by 5. Simple machines don't reduce the total amount of work you have to do. They just change how you do it. By increasing the output force or changing the direction of the force, they make tasks feel easier and more efficient. That's why you see simple machines everywhere. In construction, transportation, and even everyday tools like scissors and wheelbarrows. Understanding input and output forces, along with mechanical advantage, helps us see how these machines work and how they've shaped human innovation. They're simple in design, but brilliant in the way they multiply our efforts, making even the hardest jobs easier.